Yeah, let's see if this works. In Bucks County, I said at the beginning, we're going to have to wait for the polls really to see if there's any movement, right? This was less than 24 hours after the debate. We're going to have to wait for the polls. Okay, to see if there's any movement. Okay, uh, let's wait for the polls. Then they just sit there quietly. That would be better. <laughs> let's just wait for the polls. Crickets, crickets. But I do think that group. All right, let's just go here. Here, this is. What's interesting is. Is it interesting? Three is it really interesting? So Lynn Kelleher, a realtor who is a registered Republican, and then Hannah Reid sitting in the center is a mom of three. She's a registered independent. Andrew Wallace, who's on the right side there, owner of the Churchville Inn where we were in Bucks County, dad of two, registered Democrat, all totally undecided. One totally. One of the key moments for them, Chris, was the moment that you just played a piece of a moment ago when, the, when they were discussing abortion rights. And you remember President Trump said, quote, Democrats have abortion. He's not the president president persons in the ninth month Harris rebutted that but I watched the two women react to that visibly viscerally and I asked them about it deal breaker for either of you like you will not vote for him because of that it's disgusting and it 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 just piles on to why it would be so difficult to, to vote for him that whole thing. could you still vote for him I don't know. Why are you pressing I, I her? Still vote for him. After oh. Could you still vote for him? Why are you pressing her? Uh, uh, so Lynn Kelleher, who just said, I don't Would know. Would you vote for her? Would you please, please? Can you vote for him? Why don't you just say to her and them that you're a disgrace, all of you. What? What is wrong with you? You know, back to you in the studio or whatever. I need to see more. Exactly. I need to see, right, Jim on the chat. I need to see more of the Trump, of the of Trump to see if he's the right kind of, the, the right level of fascist. All right, let's get back to this. Also added, though, that she feels that she, she said this, her she words, feels. I have to choose between the economy and my conscience. Fuck off. Her conscience is telling her to go with Harris for that abortion reason, but other issues as well. See, this is what it irritated me, too, about this, is that I, I, they, as it, they, they're, okay, I need to get the words out. The way that she is phrasing this, I, I, I need to choose between the economy and my conscience as if that's a valid choice. The economy under Biden is light years better than what we're, what, what Trump left us. Trump, you want to talk about a smoldering ruin? That's what he left us on top of a million corpses. And you're right, exactly, Matt. The economy does better under Democrats. Why isn't that on everyone's top of mind when they talk about the economy. Why? Because of this bullshit. They think that Trump will be better for the economy. Why? Why? Because he gave a tax cut to billionaires? That's it. That's it. He didn't give you shit. And if, it, if there were any b bonuses in his tax scam for the working class, they expire this year assholes not you guys i'm talking to the trump anzies he picked your pocket and let and then helps you look for it blames the democrats he did shit he made the economy worse he killed a million americans he 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 botched everything he put his grubby little vulgarian fingers on his stumpy Vulgarian nubs. He, you know, uh, he was left a great economy by Obama, if you remember. The economy was doing great under under Obama. He was g given just like what happens what happened when Clinton left office, with a surplus to George W. Bush. This is not, this is not subjective. This is fact. The economy does better under Democrats. What is wrong with this lady?
And why doesn't she tell them that? Well, they, I have to choose between the economy and my conscience. No, you don't. You'll be choosing the economy and your conscience by voting traitor Trump into the, into the dung pile of history where he's comfortable. I'm so sick of this. This is the problem. That's why I say, you know, support the real liberal media. This word has to get out somehow. It's not getting out with those with giant platforms, certainly. And then you have, you know, the right wingers who are taking fucking money from Putin, for Christ's sakes. And one of these other, one of these Putin pricks tonight was going on about migrants eating cats. Fucking bastards getting these these are the scumbags being paid by Putin to destroy this country. Funny how they all line up with the uh, everything that comes out of Trump's lie hole. And then she's like, I have to choose the why didn't she tell that? I mean, what is the what is the point of showing me three malinformed morons? who haven't seen enough yet and uh and then letting them let letting the stupidity that they feel become amplified on your on your channel and not correct them what possible reason is there to do that except you want this fucking con man back in office what is the point? I mean, if, if, if it was the other way around, I mean, for real, it's not about Democrats or Republicans. It's, about, it's like, who, who is on the right side of decency, democracy, humanity? The economy does better under Democrats. It's not like it's always, everything's always like on top of the world looking down on creation. We have challenges, but only one party doesn't leave you stuck starving in the streets and then blame everybody fucking else for it and they do it the, the 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 point is the republicans they'll leave you starving in the streets they will deliberately put you in the streets to starve and do shit about it while they're f dancing up a storm like it's a goddamn like they're the fucking flappers in a in a wine glass in a champagne glass <laughs> I don't know what I'm... I'm picturing the first Gilded Age in my mind. Well, the economy is telling her to vote for Trump because she, she did vote for him in 2016. All three of them did, actually. So, and yeah. Oh, you got a Democrat there, an Independent there, and a Republican there that all voted for the fucking traitor? What Democrat voted for the traitor? And then you put him in, an, in a goddamn undecided focus group and say, we're all... It's an interesting mix that we have here of three assholes that all voted for a con man with a fake university and a fake multi-level marketing vitamin scam how what a what a diverse group of idiots you have there lady she really feels that he will have better focus on the economy better they focus on the economy for them he's focused on them their economy you know he's focused on his economy how can he siphon bribes out of the Saudis in his tacky hotel when they come to town and they buy out the whole fucking joint. You know, and they, oh, but it doesn't matter because he put it all in a trust. Yeah, I, I, got, a, I got some multi-level marketing vitamins to sell you if you believe that. I mean, unbelievable. If, uh... They focus on the economy. These assholes. And, they, and these, all these media mouthpieces sitting there letting that lie just fly, fly around, fester in the air, spread, spread its wings. Fucking unbelievable, really. They all deeply care about economic issues. Here's another they part of it. They deeply care. 
Do they really? About economic issues. Then why don't they vote Democratic? Huh? Deeply care. The, I mean, do we have to do a show every show and say the Democrats are better for the economy? Let's, we have the receipts. It's not my, my wish. It's not like I'm making it up like Trader Trump makes up everything that comes out of his hole. Hold on. Dude, who can, I don't give a shit what these people think. If you're undecided, at the, I don't, why do I want to hear from you? And I know I said that to Robin, and she's like, oh, because they're going to decide the election. I don't know. Are they? If, I mean, if we educated them and shamed them into being like, what are, you, what are you doing being undecided? But the fact that they put a camera in front of them and say, hey, undecided, you want to get together and uh, spew your malinformed opinions out there and pretend like it's some, somehow you're uh, really giving it a think. I'm really got to think about this thing here. I, I don't know. One, uh, she flip-flopped on fracking I don't know how is she going to do all that policy stuff I want to know more about the policies like as if they ever fucking sat down and read a policy I know Junior I'm just as pissed they ever said you know like they don't want to hear about Trump policies right the, the, the asshole that stood up there and said I got a semblance. I got an idea of an idea. Fucking unreal. This is what we're up against. Conversation. I still haven't heard a lot of policies. <laughs> she didn't tell me how she would make the economy better. She uh, didn't tell me how she'd make the economy better. Fuck you. How, how's that? Uh, that's how I tell you. She's going to tell you how... Listen, um, dull, dulltard. How is she going to make the economy better? Well, how is... Did, did Trader Trump say that in any of his lies? Is he going to make the economy better when he said, It's a rigged system. Rigged. Felon. The, that's Justice Department. Biden. Biden crime. Biden migrant crime. Eating cats. Eating dogs. I didn't hear one policy. But... But... Of course, Harris has to do everything. She's got to tap, fucking dance. What is she got? To, it's like she got to uh, dance uh, Ginger Rogers, high heels and backwards, while Trader Trump, what? What is he doing? He's fucking falling down a flight of steps. Ah, you gotta hear the policies, you know. One policy. One guy has got policies of storming the Capitol, lying. Sending a violent mob to beat cops and shit in the hallways. I didn't hear no policies. How's she gonna do it? I don't know. Maybe vote Democratic, you stupid dumbass. Yeah, interesting. They're all one's a registered Republican, one's a registered independent, one's a registered Democrat, but they all voted for Trump. <laughs> 